I use splitting malls for making firewood when out camping, hunting, hiking, and even fishing. I find malls a lot more efficient than using a thin bit profile axe for splitting. Years ago I researched splitting malls and axes. Initially I was going to purchase a Grand Source Brooks Mall, but then I found the Halder brand. I am very happy that I purchased the Halder brand and not the Grand Source Brooks. This is definitely not your ordinary splitting mall. One look at it and you can see it is quite different than other offerings on the market. The Halder design has many advantages over traditional splitting malls and axes. It is a modern take on a very traditional tool. The Halder has a unique design of being multiple pieces. The axe has a bit that is held in place by the housing. The housing and the bit are bolted onto the handle in a clever clamshell design. After getting the Halder Mall, I have also acquired a Halder Axe, which shares the same benefits as the Mall. The first thing I like about the Halder design is the built-in overstrike protection. The bit is made of quality steel, but the head is constructed of cast iron. The cast iron collar extends down the handle shaft and that completely protects the handle in the case of a miss swing. It doesn't matter who you are, at some point you have missed the target in a swing and the handle has hit the wood and not the bit. When you do this, it causes great damage to the handle. When you overstrike, you compress the wood fiber and remove wood fibers which greatly weakens the handle. So for the user of the holder, you have a great benefit of not having any damage in the case of an overstrike when swinging. And believe me, the cast iron head and collar are very heavy duty. They did not cheap out when making this. The second thing I like about the Halder design is the bolt-on handle. The head is of a clamshell design which bolts onto the handle. It is very unique as I have never seen this design before. In my opinion, this is a much stronger design than traditional designed malls and axes. This design is not dependent on wood wedges and friction to hold it in place. The inside of the clamshell head has small spikes that are cast directly into it and they grip the handle when assembled. You tighten down the heavy duty bolt and nut and it is permanently attached. The machining on the bolt and nut are very fine, both the nut and bolt will last forever. The handle will never loosen or come off flying off on you. Once it is on there, it is on there. The second thing I like about the clamp on handle is it is easy to replace should you ever have to. Make no mistake that fitting an axe handle is a bit of an art. Anyone can put a handle on but to do it properly is a skill. This is geared towards the user who has never done that and who does not possess spoke shaves and files which you need to shape the handle to fit properly. When replacing the holder handle you just buy a replacement from holder or you could even buy a generic from a hardware store and literally just bolt it in. The third thing I like about this mall is the hard nylon striking face on the back side of the bit. This is a nylon of some sort, but it is very hard. This striking surface for me is preferred to a steel one for a couple reasons. The first reason I like this is because I can use it to pound splitting wedges safely. When using the nylon to hit steel, there is no chance of metal spalling off, which is a major concern with steel on steel impact. When hardened steel hits hardened steel, small pieces of metal can spall off and they can travel at a very high speed and if they hit you in your eye, they can blind you. The second reason I like this nylon striking surface is it is very forgiven on felling wedges. When falling trees, you drive wedges so you won't bind your saw and also you use them to get the tree to lean. When driving these wedges in with a regular steel pole, you can cause damage to them and greatly reduce their service life. This is a much more forgiving system. The third reason I like this nylon face is that it is much more forgiving on the user at the end of the day. It is easier on your joints and hands. Also, this is easily replaced when it is done. I have replacements that are ready to be bolted in when the time comes. It takes no more than five minutes to replace this. One last thing I will say, this is designed as a striking instrument as well as being a mall. A regular axe is not designed as a striking instrument and you can easily deform the eye or crack the eye if you use it as one. The fourth thing I like about the Halder design is the quality of the build. This is a product designed in Germany and built in Germany. When the Germans build things they do it right. 
They use high quality materials and the holder products are no different. I do not know the steel they use in the bit, but I do know it is quite hard and durable. It holds its edge well and does not chip out. I can also say from sharpening it that it feels right. I have sharpened axes for many years and I know what a file feel like on good steel. That tells me it is a good alloy and has gone through a good heat treatment during manufacturing. The cast iron housing is top quality. The fit and finish of the cast iron is perfect. I see no defects whatsoever such as pinholes, open holes, shrinkage, fusion swells, or any other defects in the cast iron. The handle is a heavy straight grained hickory and it is well finished which protects it against the elements. The handle is thick so it will take many years of use. The quality of the holder mauls and axes are superb. In summary, this is the best maul out there in my opinion. Like I said, this is a modern take on a traditional tool that has been around for hundreds of years. It takes a lot of effort to redesign a tool that has been around that long. When you change any traditional tool, you better make sure the changes actually improve the design and functionality. If you are thinking about buying a maul or axe that you want to last a lifetime, I highly recommend the Holder brand. As for availability, I know Amazon has these products. The replacement components are readily available through Amazon as well. This is not my first Holder video. I had one before and I lost it. All these points that I have mentioned and emailed to Holder directly and they appreciated that so much they ended up sending me a few hundred dollars of free products. I was quite impressed. As an axe guy, I was blown away by the rethinking of this tool, so I had to reach out to Holder and let them know how great their product truly is. With that said, I'm all about helping other outdoorsmen and women, so if you need something I can help you with concerning this product, please let me know. It could be a video or a question, and I'm totally uh, willing to try to help you out. With that said, thanks for your time.